information here. But when you come, when you report news on North Korea that just you know speculations, rumors, how do you cross check? What are what efforts are you making to cross check? to try to verify and deciding ultimately whether to file the story or not. Before, but um, Reuters does not have a bureau in Pyongyang. I can talk more about the balance of considerations there. But I, I do think that South Korea has a role to play, thanks to the organizers of this event and to Yonhap. But access to briefings by South Korean officials is crucial. Um, access to briefings that are on the record, um, that aren't arbitrary with r rules of attribution or embargoes. Um, help us help you would be, would be my message to the people in, in South Korea's uh, government. Uh, help us help you tell this story because the most important and verifiable reporting from and about North Korea is not from North Korea, it's, it's from here. Well, I, I think in the same way that we do do everywhere, you know, is that, is that better? I think we, you know, it's still doing journalism in, in the way that we've always done it. So when we do have <clears throat> certain reports that perhaps carry anonymous sources, we have to decide whether we consider those sources to be strong enough for us to use if we're going to cite the report. It later proved to be untrue, but stories uh, or false reports about executions. What, what are your reactions when you come across reports like that firsthand? Uh, I, I think that was referenced in the, the address previously, uh, you know, officials who had been in Hanoi who were either executed or, or were, were sent to a re-education camp or something. We saw those reports uh, as soon as they came out in, in uh, South Korean press. Um, some of our competitors picked up those uh, reports immediately. We we felt that there was a need to address them because it was a very sensationalist report. Um, and what we decided to do was, was to, to say that this was being reported, but also wrap in the context that South Korean media have been wrong on a number of occasions. In Pyongyang as well as Beijing. Regarding the reports on North Korea, people say that uh, false reports come out of Japan more than South Korea. Why is Japan producing so many sensational, uh, inaccurate reports? Well, in uh, Japan, uh, there is uh, the uh, Ethnic Korean Association, though, that is uh, pro-North Korea. Those people sometimes will think that uh, this type of report uh, at this time uh, would weaken uh, the North Korean regime. So they make political decisions. But as I pointed out, you know, if you demonize North Korea, then it is very, very difficult to engage in, in a negotiation with North Korea because you cannot justify in a negotiating with North Korea, which is demon. But that is a perfect example of John Bolton. For example, Mr. John Bolton has been arguing that the North Korea is a dictator, and if we have a negotiation with the North Korean dictator, that, that will enhance domestic political legitimacy of a North Korean leader. Therefore, it's not wide strategy. Therefore, in other words, if your goal is is really to denuclearize North Korea, then you needed to get away from the, the, the trapping structure okay, of this demonizing North Korea and just to deal with North Korea just objectively. Or you need to have some kind of, of inter, you know, subjective understanding and even some sort of you know, empathy, you know, without which you, know, you cannot have a really... And speaking about sensational reports, um about DPRK, uh, I would like to agree with my colleague from AP uh, that uh, the most verified report uh, is a balanced report. And if we put uh, the full context, for example, uh, uh, telling that uh, some similar reports have already appeared uh, in the past, that would be the most balanced and uh, uh, verified report. And um, yes, uh, in terms of, uh, given the uh, importance and sensitivity of news about the uh, DPRK, um, 
As for Xinhua, we uh, try to verify everything we write about the DPRK, and especially those when those sensational important news came out, we will try to cross-check or verify to get try to get the first-hand information. And if we cannot verify, if we cannot confirm whether it's true or not, then we'd rather not write about it because for a news organization, accuracy is always the uh, first and foremost important thing. And I agree with you that, that it, it is a